as it continues, it'll get more difficult every day. Right now, I just talked out to Terminal B. Things are fairly smooth. There's a huge, that's the express operation terminal for United. The main United terminal, C and E, are open and things are flowing normally. But you can bet that things will continue to degrade as long as these guys don't get paid. So it, it, it's an issue and, you, and will continue to be one. Do you, I, I don't believe the ATC system is shut down. I don't believe that's true. Air traffic control, right. No, and I saw the Canadian uh, ATC guys okay. sent their American counterparts some pizzas over the weekend in Long Island, too. Uh, <laughs> but do you think that, uh, which is a nice gesture, but, uh, you know, at the same time, we just need to make sure they stay fully staffed and up and running. Um, and they're suing the president. I was just going to say, do you think people who are watching this highly publicized shortage of TSA workers play out will try to exploit what they perceive as security vulnerabilities? Should there be any no, of those? No, I, I think the reason they're consolidating inspection stations is that they're not changing their standards at all. And, and there are enough where, like there were three and now there are two, but they're more than adequate. I'm, I'm not sure ultimately where the bottom stops. Obviously, this shutdown of government has got to stop, and there'll be more and more pressure. And these guys know how to pressure because American economy doesn't work without a tra air transportation. It just doesn't. Contessa Brewer just said that FAA air safety inspectors had been furloughed yeah. and presumably are not on the job. What does that mean? Well, you know, like I'm a pilot and you might get in your airplane and there'll be a guy who says, let me see your license, you know, and that's a safety check. Mm -hmm. And so those kinds of procedures, which were not vital, but, uh, you know, worthwhile, that they are cut back. But the ATC system, which is you're getting ready to take off and land and all of the safety issues combined, that's 100 percent manned. Gordon, how should investors think about uh, business travelers, travelers who may be looking at the possible long lines and maybe canceling some of their trips? I mean, at what point do you get yeah. concerned in the shutdown that this is actually, that maybe the short lines at the TSA lines is simply because people well, are not going to travel? Because presumably that's revenue the airline might not necessarily get back for a business traveler. If you can't make that business trip to Toronto, you may not be going. Well, it, it, you know, that's not encouraging people to want to go. They'll come up with more excuses not to go because it just a, it's a hassle. Waiting in a line for an hour is probably not acceptable for people going on vacation, so they do something else. But I don't believe the standards are going to change, but certainly the reaction to the American public is going to increase and put more and more pressure on this issue.